Hello everyone, this is the Board Game Suite and today we're going to play Eldritch Horror. One of my favorite games of all time and uh, I thought we were going to face off against Azathoth. And I will select investigators randomly, there are 20 of them so I have a d20 here. We will see who we're gonna pick. I'm going to pick four of them and let's see here number 14 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so we got Mark Harrigan eighteen so we'll take third from the bottom then and it's uh, Patrice Hathaway, number nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Akachi O'Neill, O'Neill maybe. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we'll see what happens here. Number thirteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So these will be our investigators for this playthrough. First we're going to have uh, Mark Harrigan, the soldier. Patrice Hathaway, the violinist. And uh, Akachi O'Neill, Un O'Neill, O'Neilly, I don't know, the shaman anyway. And uh, Norman Withers, the astronomer. So I'm going to set up their items and starting locations and whatnot, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so now I've done the initial setup, and uh, we have uh, Mark Harrigan here on Space 14 in uh, Finland or Russia or whatever. And we have uh, Patrice in Sydney. We have Akachi in uh, South America, or South Africa, I mean, Space 15. And Norman Withers here in Arkham. So I spawned two clue tokens, they appeared on Space 11 and in Shanghai. And we also have a gate here in Tokyo which spawned a Migo. So the Migo says it has uh, three toughness and uh, uh, you ha when you do a sanity check you have to, uh, or wheel check, you have to get at least one success not to get any damage. And then you have to fight it with a minus two strength and you have to be successful with at least two of them not to take damage and uh, when a reckoning effect happens you discard the nearest clue and move this monster to that space so in this case he would move to Shanghai and eat that clue and when you defeat this monster during during a combat encounter you gain one artifact so that's at least something Oh, okay. So we have uh, Asathoth, which starts the Doom track at 15. And uh, I thought we were going to begin by reading the flavor text here. So, Asathoth. Uh, the idiot god sits at the center of all things, spreading madness and death. Its seeds descend from the stars threatening to crack the world in half and then um, okay he has no reckoning effect actually all right we start with an eldritch token on the green space up here yeah. And every time you pass that, Doom is uh, advanced by one for each Eldritch token on that space. And when three mysteries have been sold, investigators win the game. And when he awakens, you flip the card and you resolve the world is devoured effect on the back, which is basically we lose. So we have to do this before Doom hits zero. And... Uh, 
So we have Mark Harrigan here, the soldier. Uh, during the war, Mark witnessed horrors he could not explain. And he wrote what he saw in letters to his beloved wife, Sophie. When Mark returned home, he discovered that Sophie was no longer human. One of the beasts that Mark had seen overseas had taken over her body, killing her in the process. Afterward, Mark's thirst for vengeance led him to Helsinki, where some of, of these creatures had possessed post as German soldiers during the Great War. Yes, so he starts with a 38 revolver asset, which gives him plus 2 strength uh, during uh, combat encounters. And you have the kerosene. You may discard this card to gain plus 5 during a combat encounter. He has 8, eight stamina and 4 uh, sanity. His special action is uh, you and one monster on your space each lose one health. And his ability is you cannot become delayed or gain a detained condition unless you choose to. Next we have Patrice Hathaway. Hail as a, music mus blah, 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 blah. Hail as a musician prodigy from her youth. Youth. Patrice has uh, performed for royalty and society's brightest minds all around the world. For years she thought that her consciousness simply drifted as she played, but she's come to believe that an intelligence exists behind her visions. Uh, somehow the notes form a bridge between her own mind and another. Form a bridge between her own mind and another. The more she grasps what her music exposes to her, the more afraid she becomes. Uh, after last night's concert in Sydney, she's finally decided to take action. And she starts with one clue and one banishment spell. She has five stamina and uh, seven sanity. And her action is, you may spend one clue and one focus to improve one skill of your choice. And her ability is, when you close a gate during an otherworld encounter, gain one clue and one focus. I like that. Then we have Akasha, Akashi. And as a young girl in Nigeria, Akashi stayed apart from other children, preferring the company of imaginary friends. Her elders feared madness, but the village Dibaya believed that she had been chosen by the gods. The wise old man taught her how to travel between worlds and how to marshal spirits. Now she has become a wise leader herself, traveling across Africa and teaching others to protect themselves. She recently arrived in Cape Town and from the here she will track down the dark forces that threaten her humanity. So uh, she has 5 stamina and 7 sanity. Her action is look at the top two gates in the gate stack, put one gate on top of the gate stack and the other on the bottom. So I have the gate stack right here. Uh, and her ability is, when you close a gate during an otherworld encounter, you may move to any space containing a clue or a gate. So she starts with the Mr. Relly spell. And one clue. And then we have uh, Norman Withers. <clears throat> The scientific community ridiculed Norman for his claim that six stars disappeared from the sky. After exhausting every plausible astronomical explanation for answers, he took a position at Miss Gatonic University and began exploring more improbable possibilities in the restricted section of their library. While reading an ancient text of dark prophecies, Norman found an exact description of the phenomenon, phenomenon phenomenon he'd observed. The tome is to be if the tome is to believe be believed, a terrible incursion into our world is imminent. And he starts with a feed the mind spell. Uh, he has five stamina and seven sanity. And his action is spend two clues to discard one monster on a space containing a gate. 
and once per round you may spend one sanity in place of spending one clue. And that's basically the backstory here. Uh, and the reserve is filled with one elder sign, one spirit dagger, the fishing net, and genealogy research. And this here will be my dice tray. It's the One Night Ultimate Werewolf Daybreak uh, box, but or lid will work fine here. And I have the encounter cards and the rest of the tokens here on the sides. You won't see them here, but I will show them when we draw them. And uh, that's about it. And I think we're ready to start the game. Okay. Okay, let's begin here. Um, so the goal of the game is to prevent the Ancient One to enter our world, in this case. Stop him. Uh, and he says here, uh, Asothoth says, uh, yeah, when the omen advances to the green space of the omen track, advance doom by one for each elder token on that space. When three mysteries have been solved, investigators win the game. So, yep. And his cultists have uh, one toughness, and you, when you do a, uh, a will check against them, you have to roll at least one to be successful. And after resolving the will test, you lose one health and defeat the monster. And the first mystery will be occult research. Uh, the Shan are controlling innocent victims everywhere, using them to call forth Asasdolf. Uh, after an investigator resolves a research encounter, he may spend one clue he gained from that encounter and place that clue on this card. At the end of the method phase, when there are clues on this card equal to investigators, solve the mystery. So we basically have to get four clue tokens uh, by solving uh, research encounters and put them here. And that's the first mystery. Uh, so on your turn you can do two actions. You can... Uh, yeah, let's see here, just a quick look. You can travel, move one space, and spend action or travel tickets to move one additional space if you have any. You can prepare for travel and gain one travel ticket. And you can acquire assets. You can test influence to uh, gain assets e of equal or lesser value from the reserve. Uh, you can rest to recover one health and one sanity. But you can't do that if there are monsters on your space. Uh, you can't do that uh, when you acquire assets either. And you have to be in a city to acquire assets. Uh, you can focus to gain one focus. You can trade possessions with another, in another investigator on your space. If two of them are ever on the same space. And you can do component actions. So perform actions or local actions of a component. And each component action counts separately. So you can do like here do the actions on the spells or maybe do their the character's special action and uh, then first you have the action phase then we have the encounter phase and if you're ever on a space containing a monster you have to uh, battle the monster first before you can do the other encounters and if you fail to defeat the monster you can't have any other encounters either and uh, after the encounter phase, we have the mythos phase, where we draw a myth myth mythos card, and basically bad things happen. So we have to prevent Asathoth from waking up by solving three mysteries before the doom track is on zero, and before the mythos deck is empty. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's start with the first turn. So first up is Mark Harrigan. And I think I will have him move towards the Mago to battle him. So we will, he will prepare to travel, take a 
train tickets and use it right away to move here to Tunguska so he can do the uh, expedition encounter and uh, that's his turn then we have Patrice she will also prepare to travel take a boat ticket and travel straight away to Shanghai when she will try to get that uh, clue token and then we have Akashi in Cape Town so I think she will uh, hmm yeah she will try to acquire assets first so she has two influence so I will use two dice put this here see if we can see that so a success is a five or a six and uh, let's see what we get so we got one success one six here so I can buy the genealogy research which I will do I guess so it's a task and it says when you defeat a monster with toughness two or more during a combat encounter you may examine the creature's remains with observation and if you get past you gain two clues and discard this card so I will uh, buy that and we will replace it with a new card here and it's the lucky cigarette case it's a trinket okay and then she will move here to space 11 and then we only have Norman Withers left and he has a feed the mind spell so his first action will be to use this actually so I will bring this back and you will test the lore minus one so in his case two dice then and if you pass choose an investigator on your space to improve one skill of his choice and then flip this card so we have a three and a five so one success so we are successful and he will improve uh, lore I think yeah so we get plus one to our lore you can have plus two as a maximum on every skill then we flip this card and we had one success so it says a wealth of knowledge overwhelms your mind the chosen investigator loses one sanity so he loses one sanity but it was worth it I think and then he will move to London to try to spawn more clues and then we have the encounter phase so first we have Mark Harrigan in Tunguska. We will draw an expedition encounter here. And it says, oh yeah, we will use this a lot now, I guess. Uh, as you approach the crater described in Rasputin's notes, toxic fumes pour out of a fissure in the earth. You struggle to stay conscious and continue your descent. Test strength. So he has four strength. We will roll four dice we will see what happens we got two successes so we succeed on the first thing then it says you refine you find the remains of the monks camp gain one artifact great so we will gain an artifact it's the Santu tablets it's an item and a tome you gain plus three lore when resolving spell effects and as an action you may test lore if you pass you may spend one sanity to gain two spells and then discard one spell so that's a good thing to have but not really for him so we might want to trade that with someone else basically anyone because they're all much better at lore and then what says the card uh, then you then search the crater tests observation minus one so he has two observations so we will roll one die and we failed okay if you fail uh, the shattered landscape is difficult to look at to lose one sanity so we he lost the sanity and he only has three left not that good but could be worse so that's the first encounter 
and then the expedition will move to the Amazon and it's Patrice turn to have an encounter so she will do a research encounter she's in a city so it says a noted astronomer has made claims that the end of times predicted by the stars are drawing nearer after studying his notes, you come to the same conclusion. Gain this clue and place one Eldritch token on the green space of the Omen track. So at least we got the clue, but it came at a price. So we will place the clue here on the mystery. So at least we progressed a bit on that. But we also have to, have to place a, another Eldritch token on this green space here. <clears throat> and then it's Akashi's turn. She'll also have a research encounter, but she's at sea. So, it says, Out here, away from the city's lights, you can see clearly that the stars have shifted more than you had predicted. Gain this clue, then move the omen token to any space on the track and advance doom by one for each gate on the game board that corresponds to the current omen. So at least we gained the clue, so we will put it here, but then we have to move the, oh, the omen track, sorry if I'm stretching out a bit here, but and we will put it on the red thing because there are no uh, gates that correspond to that omen and it's the furthest away from the from the green space so uh, yeah we don't have to advance the doom by anything so that's a pretty good start actually we already have two clues on the research encounter then it's Norman and he's in London so we will draw a London encounter so it says, you spend a charming evening at the Kit Kat Club in Hay Haymarket making friends, test influence. So he only has one influence, we'll see what he does. He actually got a six, so he succeeded. Holy crap. Uh, if you pass, a wealthy patron takes interest in your struggles, gain a funding condition. Oh. Okay, no clues, but at least he got a funding condition so we will take the condition deck here and we will find the first funding condition here here we go so the funding condition says uh, you may discard this card in place of gaining a debt condition or to discard a debt condition and if the reckoning effect happens, uh, if you're on a city space, you may flip this card. So something good might happen when he's, a, he's in a city. And it triggers. Okay, so now it's the mythos phase of this turn. So we will draw the first mythos card. And it's a yellow one with tentacles on it, so that means it's a bad one. So first we, we advance the omen track, we have one gate that corresponds to this, um, to this omen, so doom will advance by one, so now we're down to 14. And then we have a reckoning effect, so we start by monsters doing their thing, so the Migo first, but there are, aren't any clues on the board right now so he can't eat any so I guess he just stays put then we have the ancient one but he has no triggers then we have uh, mythos cards in play but there are none and then we have conditions so the only condition we have is Norman Withers funding condition and he is actually in the city so we flip this right away so it says hired gun 
Uh, with so much mayhem overtaking the world, you know you will not be able to put an end to the rampart, rampant disasters on your own. You slide your offer across the table to the rough looking man. A monster of your choice on any space loses 3 health, then discard this card. So the funding condition is discarded, and we only have one monster on the board, so I guess we will kill that. Sadly, we won't get the uh, artifact effect from defeating it in combat, since this was not defeated in combat. It was defeated by other means. But I won't complain. And then we will spawn a gate. So a gate spawns in the Amazon. So all of a sudden there are lots of things happening in the Amazon. And when a gate spawns, you also have to spawn a monster. So we have a child of the goat. It has one toughness, uh, but we and you don't lose sanity for uh, fighting it, but it has magical resistance. So I think you can't use magic against it, or maybe it's just you lose half of your your um, dice when using magic spells against it. And when the reckoning effect happens, you roll one die, and on a one or a two, you advance doom by one. So that's not good when we have Azathoth as our ancient one, but not much to be done. And then we uh, see what the card says. Uh, the storm. The wind suddenly picks up, causing a shiver despite the clear blue sky. Looking to the horizon you see steely grey clouds approaching. And the event is... Each investigator discards clues equal to the number of Rumor Mythos cards in play, but there are none. And if there are no Rumor Mythos cards in play, draw and resolve one Rumor Mythos cards from the game box. Holy crap, so I actually have to find another Rumor Mythos card. Huh. That's not good, so excuse me for a few moments while I find the... Uh, Mythos card that's yep that's good enough okay so here are all the rumor Mythos cards I will shuffle this and just draw one randomly okay it's this one so let me just put this box away again and we'll see what happens okay so let's see what this Mythos card says it's uh, Okay, first we have to spawn two clues. So I will take uh, two at random from this box here. We have one on space number one, which is up here in Alaska. And we have one on space 18, which is down here. And then we have to take three Eldritch tokens here and we'll see what happens so lost knowledge your contact in the capital is hesitant to speak about those called the watchers he says they work for a number of different govern governments but answers to some other authority ongoing rumor when this card enters play uh, spawn the TikTok men epic monster on space 21. Then, when it is defeated, solve this rumor. When there are no Eldritch tokens on this card, discard all clues on the game board. Then, each investigator discards all clues. And when the reckoning effect happens, you discard one Eldritch token from this card. So, we will place it here by the mystery card so we won't forget about it. And we will find these TikTok men. Okay, so here we have the TikTok men. And they will spawn here on Space 21. Let's see what their stats are. Uh, you don't have any wheel checks against it. 
but the strength test would be a minus two strength test. And you cannot spend clues to reroll dice during the, this combat encounter, and it has toughness equal to investigators plus two. So it has uh, six toughness. It's a pretty bad monster, but it could be worse. I mostly just want to defeat it before all the clues are gone. So maybe Mark will try to move down there. Yep, I think that's what we will do. Try to do at least. And yeah, so that was the first turn. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.